Hello, my beautiful darklings. Welcome again to my channel. Today I will be reviewing the Frida Kahlo collection, the brushes and the eyeshadow palette and brush cleaner and the makeup bag. It's with a collaboration with Frida Kahlo and Ulta. I will link it down below where you can buy this. There was more to this collection like lipsticks and highlighters but i have so much and they felt like repeats but i will link it below first i will talk about the makeup bag isn't it cute it's got the beautiful flowers portrait of frida kahlo i love her she's an amazing artist the movie with Selma hayek was amazing it's super cute on the back it says never apologize for who you are that's definitely a great motto to live by. Be yourself. The bag is $20 on Ulta website or in stores. I think it's made out of vinyl. It has a cute little gold zipper and opens right up. And all kinds of space inside for your makeup, for foundation, highlighter, powder, good travel bag. I really like the quality. I love the image on it. Isn't it cute? <laughs> It says Frida Kahlo by Ulta right here. I'll be doing a makeup look with the brushes. The little tin is super cute with a portrait of Frida again with her signature roses. Frida Kahlo by Ulta Beauty. I love the color. And it comes with four brushes here. There's a powder brush. And a foundation brush an eyeshadow brush and a crease brush <laughs> so I already have my primer on I use the new elf primer blemish control face primer I just got this at Ulta it was only six dollars I'm trying a new primer here and I'm gonna use the foundation brush with my Tarte Amazonian clay foundation here we'll see how it goes I usually use a brush or like a flat kabuki brush or a wet sponge, a damp sponge, but we'll try with the new brush. I don't notice any streaking like with my kabuki brush. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't see any shedding. It seems to be working pretty well here. So I think the coverage is pretty good and it's blending well. I'm pretty happy with the brush. I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer off camera and come back with the powder brush and check it out. So I did my concealer off camera. I use the Morphe Jeffree Star collaboration um, beauty sponge and the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. I really love this shape tape. It's my tried and true concealer. So now we're going to try the powder brush with some Jeffree Star setting powder in Fair. It's really soft. I notice these brushes are super, super soft. Mmm, that cotton candy smell is great. So, it is really soft. I really like this brush. I'm not going to be baking today. I am not a fan of baking with the Jeffree Star powder. It tends to get cakey on me. And I got my mirror here from Kat Von D. I don't see any of the bristles coming off of it. It feels great. really like the quality. It's got a nice base to it. Has a good fennel, it seems really good quality. These are only, the brush set was $30. Overall, I'm happy with the makeup bag and the brushes. Now we got the powder on. I'm gonna put on some blush here and some highlighter and contour. So I'm gonna be using my old school in the balm of your hand palette. I love the blush in here. I'm going to use Cabana Boy. I've had this forever, but it still works. <laughs> so I take a little bit and tap it off. Just blot a little bit on. This works as a good blush brush, too. Blush brush. <laughs> Give you a little rosy glow here. 
and I'm going to try it as a highlighter now. I'm going to use this brush as a highlighter now too. I think it would work well. And then it's contour. So I've got the Jeffree Star Lavender Snow Highlighter. I love this one. I love lavender. I love purple. It's my favorite color. Just put a little bit on here. And see, it's had a lot of love. <laughs> Nice little glow here. It's kind of subtle. It's one of his more subtle highlighters. It is, when the light hits it, just so you can see it. Now I'm going to put some contour on. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. The middle one, you can see that is my go to here. Add a little bit of contour, your face a little bit of color, right here. Put some under your chin to give your face some depth. Over here in the hollow of your cheek. And then put it around here like a bronzer around, frame your face. I'm not going to be doing a nose contour today. And I usually top it off with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil in light medium. It's a bronzer. It's matte. Give your face some depth here. And then I top it off with the glitter one. I'm just trying to use these up. The Naked Illuminated and Lit. <laughs> I love these brushes. They are so soft. These are like the softest, softest brushes that I've used. Okay, now we're gonna make an eye look. Hooray! I'm gonna be using the eyeshadow brush and the crease brush to be creating an eye look here. The crease brush is, I know it is rather big for a crease brush. It's rather wide. And the eyeshadow brush looks good. Also soft like the other two. So let's dive into this collection. So here's the palette. It comes in this huge box here. Beautiful images on it. Beautiful flower. Great photo of her. And you've got the eyeshadow and a brush cleaner. I notice it's hard to get out. You really have to pop it out of here. Like take the whole plastic out. I would put like a something in here, like a space for your like your thumb to come out, so it's not you don't have to take everything out to get it out. So here's the eyeshadow palette. It's a beautiful flower. Let's open it up, and it has a plastic protector on it. It's beautiful earthy colors here. This protector. Never apologize for who you are. That phrase is there again. And I'm going to be swatching all of the colors here. So the first one is Perla. It's a creamy, like tannish, light tan shade. It's good for a all over the eye as a base. So I'm going to put it right here. It's kind of powder. It is pretty powdery. You can't really see it. It's just mostly just to cover your base, ready to put eyeshadow on. The next one is Dahlia. It's a cute little baby pink. It's a little bit more muted, like rose. Put it right here. And it's really light. And you can barely even see that. Let's try it on the other hand. I know I've got all these tattoos. I just got this tattoo. I've got my little cream on. We don't want to be swatching on this. Definitely not. So let's try it over here. This is super light. I know this is kind of powdery. Can you see that? Yeah, you can barely see that on camera. Maybe it'll be better on the eyes. So we're gonna try the next one. It's magic, this glittery rose shade. 
So it's a really pretty glittery shimmer. That one's really nice. It has a lot of pigment. It's not too powdery. Let's see. You can kind of see that pink Dahlia shade there. It's very subtle. And next one, the first row is Infinity. This is dark black matte color. Ooh, it's very powdery. It's very pigmented. It's very dark though, and doesn't isn't streaking or it's very solid swatch there. So go to the next row now. The next row we have like a shimmery nudish coppery color called Muse. Let's check that one out. You can kind of see it. it has a good reflective shimmer there. It's pretty when it catches the light. And then the next one is Lava. It's a matte brownish tan color. That one's nice too. That would work good in the crease. And the green, for, like sage forest green, agave. It's very pigmented. I notice it's pretty powdery. This one is like really powdery. And the last one we have in this row is a shimmery blue called Karma. Karma is important. Keep, make sure your karma is good, everybody. It's a beautiful, like, darker blue. It's beautiful. I like the shimmer. It's, it's really nice. In the last row, we have this nice mustard color called Soul. Let's watch that one, see how it goes. That one's nice, has a lot of pigment. Yellows are hard to do. It's not coming on camera too well, you can kind of see it. The next one is Adobe, it's this kind of rust orangey color. That one is really powdery. And it's kind of patchy too, you can kind of see that. See the patchiness? And the next one there's a lot of fallout. And the next one is like this darker rust color called Amor. That one's really nice, has a lot of pigment. And the last one is Mystical. I love this color. I can't wait to show you a look with this. This would be great. And the top part of the eyelid is a highlight. It's this beautiful peachy, coppery shimmer. That is beautiful. I love this one. It's not patchy. It looks not too powdery. See it right there? Hits the light. It's beautiful. It's like a shift to it, like white. And so I'm going to show you a look now. I'm going to be using the oranges and the mystical. These are the last three on the bottom and try out Perla too is the base for my eye. <laughs> So we're going to be making a look with the eye brushes in this palette now. I'm super excited. So first off, I'm going to be putting some of the Perla, this shade, with the eyeshadow brush all over the lid as a base. It's nice. It's pretty much your standard like eyeshadow base color. Just give a good starting point to put your eyeshadow on. It's a little bit powdery, but that's like to be expected and I like it. <laughs> Next I'm going to be using Adobe here, the orange shade. It's really nice. I'll be packing it on my brush. I'll be putting it half of my eyelid here. These brushes are really nice. This is good for a soft eyeshadow look. You can't really have like a deep packed on look because the bristles are not dense enough. Like you need more of a flat brush. But these are nice for like a soft look. And so. 
the eyeshadow is going on really well, I'm not having any problems to build it up a bit. It's a little bit patchy, but it's okay. It's overall is okay. So I'm going to be using the brush cleaner that comes with it. It has two sponges. Let's open her up. The large black sponge is for powder. So let's try that. Seems to be taking the brush, the eyeshadow off the brush. And the inside one is for a cream products. So we can try that one on the foundation brush that we used. <laughs> Might be a little bit big. I personally am not a fan of this. I think it's too small. You could just use your hand or just use something else to get the powder out. <laughs> Seems to be working well for the powder, the black brush. I'm not really a fan of the one in the middle because that will get mixed up together with the cream and the powder. And this isn't really big enough for most cream brushes, the brushes that you use creams with like foundation or concealer. I guess it would work for concealer brush, but not definitely not a foundation brush or maybe like cream contour. But it's awfully small. I'm not a fan of that in the middle. It should be separate. It's my opinion. <laughs> so let's try the next shade. A more. I'm going to be putting that in the outer part of my eye. The left, about outer third part of my eye. Oh, that's really pretty. Give it is to complement each other well. Give it a little bit darker look to it. I really like these two colors together. You can see it's just a bit darker. So I'm gonna use this again, maybe take a little bit off and we'll blend it a little bit more in the top. Blend it all together. Okay. This is pretty handy. I just wish that thing in the middle wasn't there. Let's just pop it out because we're not gonna be using that. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use the highlighter here, Mystical. The highlighting shimmer shade. This is really pretty. Put that on the top part of the eye. All these colors look really pretty together. You can see a little highlight there. It's a nice summery transitioning into fall look. Fall is just around the corner. This is my favorite holiday, my favorite season and time of the year. Fall is just a big giant Halloween holiday for me. I love fall. I love the leaves. I love the cool, crisp weather. Well, when I was in Germany and Berlin, the weather was beautiful there. I don't know about where I am now in Houston. It's not really a fall with the leaves changing or cooler. It's still rather warm here in the fall. Autumn. I prefer the word autumn, actually. Fall is just, I don't know, it's not so nice. <laughs> and I'm going to be put, using the crease brush now. And using this dark infinity shade here in the crease to give it some depth. I always put like a darker shade like right in the crease there and on the outer part of the eye. So let's try that. I love these brushes. Tappy tappy. <laughs> oh wow, that is super pigmented. This brush is like way too big for a crease brush. Poof. You see it? <laughs> the kickback. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is way too big for a crease brush. I try to blend it out, try to salvage it a bit. Like I didn't think it would come on so dark and big. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Let's try it again over here. We got a little bit more kickback. That's better. This is just entirely too big for a crease brush. That's my opinion in this collection. Add some more to balance it out, even though it's super dark. I think I want to tone this down a bit. Let's see if we can. Wow, 
there's a lot of kickback. Let's see what we can. I'm gonna try to tone it down, add some more orange to it. That's more highlight. Tone down this black a bit. I'm not a fan of the crease brush or that foundation brush in here. Foundation brush could work maybe, I don't know, as maybe a blush brush. I think I would prefer it as. I really don't like using brushes for my foundation. Okay, we're trying to salvage it, trying to tone down the black a bit. Let's put a little more. I think we're gonna be able to save this. It's just gonna be a little bit darker on the crease there. Okay, let's clean it off with a brush again. Add <laughs> some more Adobe. Yeah, if you can cover up that black pretty easily here. See how it's a little bit more muted now. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm happy with how it looks. What do you think? Let's add some on the bottom here just to tie it in together. Just blend it out, all the harsh edges. What do you think? Leave it down in the comments below. I'm going to go do my eyebrows and mascara off camera and I will see you to give my final thoughts. So I did my eyebrows, mascara, and lips off camera. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and Soft Brown um, Perversion Mascara. And I, for the lips, I used the Melted Matte by Too Faced and Gingerbread Girl. I love that holiday collection. I don't have Gingerbread Boy, but I do love Gingerbread Girl. So I'll give you my final thoughts here. First of all, I love the makeup bag. How can you go wrong with a makeup bag? How do you screw it up? The zipper works, everything is great. It's a great little travel bag for overnight. It's a beautiful image on it. So this is definitely approved. And for the brushes, I liked the powder brush. They're all very soft. The foundation brush, we could scratch that or maybe add some more brushes. I guess you could use this as a blush brush or if you use foundation brushes, it's just personal. I did, thought the crease brush was way too big and too not condensed enough. It was like too brushes, bristles to spread out. You need more of the condensed packed bristles for a crease to get in there. I think it should be smaller. I like the eyeshadow brush though. I thought that one was well, it worked well. And for this collection here, I think these two should have come separately. This little brush cleaner thing. I think this palette should have just came on its own. I do like this carton though, but I think it's rather big and bulky. So what do we think of the palette? I like the shades a lot. I think this one's pretty light, but it works well for your base. This pink is super light. And some of them were a little bit patchy, like the green, agave, and adobe. These two are a bit patchy. I love the shimmers. I thought magic was beautiful, karma, mystical. Muse, they're all beautiful. My favorite is mystical. I think they really catch the light. They're not patchy. Or there is a bit of kickback I had to brush off, but it's not too bad. This infinity shade is super pigmented, the dark, and you need to use it sparingly. And it is pretty powdery too, so watch out for the kickback. Overall, I like this palette a lot. And as this brush thing, I think they could have scratched this, had this separately. I'm not a fan of this thing in the middle there. I think the powder and the creams will mix together and it will be hard to clean. I think it should just be the sponge and maybe separately for this little cream thing in the middle. I'm not a fan of this. Like I would just rather clean my brushes on my own like with soap and water. 
Overall, I like the palette and the bag, of course, and a couple of the brushes. Do you need this collection? No, but maybe they can improve it in the future. They will offer this just on its own, this cute little palette. So this was 20, this was 30, and the brushes were 30. I think it's a bit high, the palette. And so I hope you enjoy this video. Have an amazing day. I will see you in the next time. Link in the comments below if you like to see me make another look with this palette, maybe with the greens and the pinks. Just let me know in the comments below. Thank you. I love you. Bye-bye.